What's up guys? I'm John the Potter and welcome back to another pottery video. This is kill number 28? 27? No, 27. Yeah, definitely. But right now we're starting this before anything is done. So all these pots in here are glazed, but none of them are fired yet. So, Canyon Skies, Sea Green, New Pink, something, New Pink, something. But this kiln won't be done until the second day of the Art Wander. So this is our last kiln that we're doing before the big Art Wander weekend, the show. This will be done on day two. So then we'll quick unload kiln number 27, get it all up in the shelves. Hopefully we have a good weekend. So I've cleared out like all the bisque, the bisqueware basically that I could. I haven't thrown anything in a couple weeks. So the kiln loadings are gonna slow down now for a while. But we're gonna close this lid and then we'll be transported two days in the future when we unload it. And I'll magically change clothes as well. So, ready? Oh, look at all that pink. That pink right there is awesome. That's sweet too. Sweet! This kiln is gonna be so much random stuff because I just like took all the stuff that I had and glazed it. So let's see how this goes. Let's do it. All right, it's 8.32 and show starts at nine. So we got 28 minutes to film this, get them priced and get upstairs. I mean, it's not like nine o'clock. It's not like a hard and fast deadline, but what I'm really curious about is if I beatbox into this mic, how it sounds on the computer. So I'm gonna try that really quick. We'll see how that sounds. <laughs> And if it's totally silly and I look stupid, then I will just cut that part out. That's the nice thing about video editing. Whatever you don't want, you don't have to have. Whereas like if you do a Facebook Live, then you are just committed to whatever you do and say, even if it's super embarrassing. If I had any followers on my Facebook page, I would maybe do Facebook Live. That was a good suggestion. Somebody suggested that I do Facebook Live videos because Joel Chirico, a guy that I follow, does a great potter, by the way. He does these Facebook Live videos and he gets like thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching, which is like amazing. And actually, he's one of the reasons I was like, God, people love watching pottery. I should do something. So I did do Facebook Lives for a little bit on the Mocha Monkey page, but I was kind of like, God, you know, Mocha Monkey's more about coffee. Like people that follow Mocha Monkey really just care more about the coffee aspect and maybe they don't care as much about the pottery. So it was okay. That's when I started doing the YouTube channel, and that just fits my personality and style because I wanted to learn how to yeah, edit videos and like get better video anyway. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. And I'm gonna unload. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna go pretty quick on this one, I think. So this is Canyon Skies Bowl. Bowl. This is a uh, Northern Lights glaze. Turned out a little differently. Sometimes if you have things on the top, top shelf, the temperature is gonna be slightly different than the rest of the way, so this is cool. We did sell a lot yesterday, so I'm happy that I have a whole kiln. More Canyon, Canyon Skies bowls. Those are sweet. Joe. Oh, I said I was gonna stop saying dope. Okay, this pink bowl. I wonder how long this will last on the shelf. Cool. Turned out really, really cool. So that was Chun Plum on the whole thing, and then a little matte white around the edge, and then buttercream on the bottom. This is green, sea green bowl. That turned out really nice. Just plain circle bowl. Some little pink flower pots. It's got that pink on the top and then the buttercream on the bottom. And then this one is, there's a set of a bunch of these cups in there. So they're the pink to matte white. Which I didn't sell any of those pink mugs yesterday. People say they like it. There's a big mug. So I, had a, I have a section upstairs that is like mugs without a set but still need a home. And that was actually one of the best selling, probably sold half of those mugs yesterday. So they're just kind of random mugs. Like this one is just a one mug that I just made and fired. So they don't have like a second or third or they're just kind of one of a kind. So yeah, people love those. All right, giant bowl in the ocean drip glaze. That is gorgeous. It's got a little, little warp to it, but I think it still sits flat and looks good. Here's some other vases. The little, little baby vase with drippy. Green, some teacup 
things? I don't even know what these are really. Not sure why I threw them. I probably threw them. I meant to put a handle on them and then forgot about them and then just turned them into cups or whatever they are. And then there's a Canyon Sky mug. Here's some bowls. They're just like those Canyon Sky bowls that I pulled out over there, but they are in a ocean drip glaze. So those turned out very nice. Sweet. That camera's like not even level. What am I doing? Is that better? This one has a little piece of kiln shell fell off and got stuck in there. That will now go up here. I don't know what I'll do with it. Just a little flower pot. I have a little base on there, which I thought, hey, that's kind of a cool idea. I can just load the glaze on it. It'll just drip right in there. So kind of did that. Canyon Skies. These are a bunch of just little flower pots. I think I'm selling them for like 12 bucks a piece. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so. If you watched one of my last videos about the pink, I said I was gonna try and do that blue on the bottom with the pink on the top. And there it is. There it is, that chun plum in the middle. That's a great glaze. I'm really happy that I kept, I've probably been off and on try that for a few years. And then I just like, I'm like, ah, I'm not happy with that, I'll stop. And then I like, oh, this is gonna be cool. I'm gonna, I'm excited to like, see what people think of all these random. Here's one that has like this texture in it. I did these a few times and people really like it. I just basically scratch it and then when the clay is still wet, I should do more of these. If I had a nickel for every time I said I should do more of those and then forget totally about them. Well, I have a few nickels anyway. All right, here's some more of these cups. These pink and white cups. Those are cool. Let's see how long those last. You know, I'm happy that I have a bunch of these random mugs since that little section where I like mugs with no set but need, still need a home. Here's some Canyon Skies ones like pitcher, so it's got a base on it. I really like that, I, I really wanna do that more in the future, is is like throw this base, and then really load the glaze on so it can drip, so it just drips, and then it doesn't drip off, it just drips onto this little base thing, which is pretty cool. It's quite beautiful. So it's it's got a, a, a spout, so you could maybe like for dressing, or for like creamer in the morning, or I don't know, comment below. What, what would you do with a small little pitcher like this? I, Whenever I've done any mugs like this with these illustrations on them, like this is a mountain range, they always, well they're not around anymore so they must sell. That one turned out very good. Probably, probably put this upstairs for a pretty high price because I do like it. That was the other thing I don't think I talked about in my pricing video was, I mean, depending on how much you like it, that also should factor into what you price it at. If you like it a lot, and it's like those surfing mugs yesterday, I think I talked about this already in the camera, but someone wanted to buy them, and I said, I don't really want to sell them yet because I want the display for the weekend. I'm rambling. We'll do much more vlogging today. Outside, I'll be throwing, It'll be beautiful. 8.44, so we got 16 minutes till we gotta be upstairs. So let's get to pricing this stuff. All right, that was kill number 27. That's the good news, is you're gonna get other videos besides kill and unloadings, which I think is good for everybody. So comment below, tell me how you feel about that. Kill and unloadings, wanna see them keep coming? No? Tutorials? Yes? No? I know everyone's gonna want tutorials, so I'm gonna give you what you want. All right, peace. Well, we get to finish this wonderful art wander weekend in the best way that I could think possible with some wakeboarding and going on the lake. Oh, see that? Windshield wiper, that's because Ryder was in here. But we are heading out on the lake for a quick wakeboard sesh. You can probably count the number of wakeboard sessions that we have on one hand the rest of the year. Summer has sadly come to an end. Now we're wakeboarding in, what is it, like 50 some degree weather, probably. I just landed a Rayleigh for the first time too, which is so awesome. I haven't actually talked about that yet, but there's a trick on a wakeboard where it's like a Superman where you like, like lay out. And I've never been able to land one and the falls are the worst. Like if you fall, you're like huge face plant from like 20 feet in the air. The other day I went out and I was like, I have to just try a couple this year. Cause I tried a couple early in the year and I fell hard. So I'm gonna insert a clip of me doing a successful Rayleigh, which nobody watching this really probably cares, but it's important to me. And it's important to understand how going out and trying something over and over and over, you know, it can pay off eventually. So I got the Rayleigh, but anyway, it's been a good weekend. Went over 5,000 subscribers, got a bunch of new patrons on the Patreon page, had a great Art Wander weekend. 
And now we're gonna finish it up with some beautiful wakeboarding on the lake. Literally the whole time I've been talking to you is how long it takes to get from my house to my buddy Brian's house who lives on the lake and has a great Malibu that we wakeboard on. So now I'm turning into his driveway right now. That's literally how long it took, two minutes and 50 seconds. I'm pretty thankful for that. That's my challenge to everyone watching this video. What are you thankful for? List a couple things you're thankful for. This is what I'm thankful for right here. Look at that. Beautiful. Gorgeous. All right, unfortunately, this is where I leave you. I'm not gonna bring you on the boat. Maybe I will. Thank you.